Hey everybody. Um, I believe this is vlog, vlog, forty-three. It's been a while. I know. I did a welcome back video. Uh, I don't even know how many months ago that was. Um. <clears throat> yeah, the date's not popping up. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, it was, it was, according to YouTube, it was a month ago, and I know I hadn't made a video from then, it was nearly five months since the previous video, which, you know, which was before this video, um, but now it's only been like, uh, what did it say? A month. So, I mean, I know I've been really bad about keeping up with any of this, but, I mean, all sorts of craziness has been happening, and I'm not gonna, you know, bore you or whatever with all the nonsense that's been going on, because it's really, there's no point to it. Um, I think I really actually started all of this, yes, it, it, it was helpful to me because I was able to to um, in some form of some form of chronology able to see how I was doing mentally and since that's really the basis of why I started in the first place so many moons ago um, and, and like I said, I just got out of, I got out of the rhythm, I got out of the sequence, but what can you expect from a man with schizophrenia? I mean, really, <laughs> you lucky, <laughs> I recorded videos in the past in any sort of sequence at all. I mean, that that was a monumental task, and the fact that I actually recorded videos in a somewhat of a schedule is most impressive, as Darth Vader would say. Um, <clears throat> really? I mean, um... <laughs> I tell you the truth, I mean, anymore, I don't really know what to say. And for some reason, I'm still confused by, even though I've tried every little bit that I can, um, <laughs> I can't get my webcam to capture in full one-to-one -one speed or full speed I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong it's plugged into a freaking USB 3.0 slot and, and it's a brand new freaking webcam say for a year ago but US or yeah that sort of connection existed way more than a year ago so I I don't know why any, all my videos are all jumpy and stoppy and you know you can see my hands slide around all over the place it's ridiculous and I don't understand it but I mean <clears throat> I mean not a whole lot has changed and maybe that's kind of why I stopped making videos was because the fact that my overall mental state didn't change and for some reason I figured that excuse me that I figured that if things didn't change there was no reason to make a video 
because, you know, it would just be repetitive. Um, it's, it's terrible, really, because even with the video from a webcam, I can't fully convey the the terribleness of my mental illness. And that's what I originally started all this shit for, was to project that, or not really project it, sorry, that was, that's a bad word, um, convey it so that the other people could see it and they'd be like, oh, okay, well, maybe what I got is similar or, you know, they could relate to it in some manner or fashion. I mean, that, that's, that's really why I started all of this. Is to prove the point that not every schizophrenic is some absolutely mad, psycho, crazy, and all these words that I take offense to, individual. And <clears throat> most of this is because, I mean, there have been other individuals that they believe and it's not a wrong belief at all because really when you get to a, an incredibly um, altered state where the voices in your head completely dictate what you do I mean, you can't say that that was, oh, well, that was just confusion. No. You have no idea. Or maybe some people out there do have an idea. And I'm talking on the same level with them. But other people, you have no idea what it's like to have a... I don't even want to say third person. It's almost a fourth person, which is breaking the fourth wall, meaning accepting the fact that there is another something is watching you. I mean, it doesn't, some people don't believe in that, but I, I totally believe in the fourth wall. And that's beyond what normally fourth wall breaking is. This is in cartoons. It's where a cartoon character looks directly at the camera and speaks to the audience. That breaks the fourth wall. But with schizophrenia, the fourth wall is broken constantly because you have a voice in your head that is literally, seriously, and almost physically real so that's why people listen to it that's why other schizophrenics listen to these voices it's not because they're um, delusional I think delusional it, I mean, delusional is, is, is seen as a negative term, but to a schizophrenic, that voice is not delusional. It's, it's reality. And that's what really fucks up everything that people think about paranoid schizophrenics, or schizophrenics, or, or people with bipolar disorder. I mean, people with bipolar disorder usually don't hear voices, but, I mean, I'm not trying to exclude anybody from the voices thing, because I've heard voices, but yet, 
I cons I I consistently take my medication. I consistently go to therapy. So even though I still hear voices, it's not it's not like it's not like I don't hear them. I do hear them. But with the medication, they're muted to a point. I mean, there were times during the day or in some random day of the week that the voices are louder, more, um, um, I'm trying to think of the word. And this is another thing that trying to think of a word to describe something. I mean, before, before, before all this schizophrenia stuff came upon me, hell, I had a ridiculous vocabulary. I mean, up through, all through high school and all through college, I had a fantastic vocabulary, but and that's one of the things that really hits me now, is that I try to talk, and I can't pull from that extensive uh, um, dictionary or thesaurus that's in my head, even though it's there. It's just the wiring that's up here in my head. It won't allow me to access that information. <clears throat> and it's not my fault. It's not that I've forgotten. It's all there. It's all up here. But there's been blockades. The nervous system has been disjointed, destroyed. I mean destroyed literally the connections between certain nervous um, areas in my brain have been destroyed because of my schizophrenia if you look I mean if I had an MRI back of my brain when I was you know 22 23 and then you look at the MRI from when I turned 30, which was just about a year ago, you would see a significant deterioration of, of the brain. And that's just what happens. I mean, I have memories of my childhood. I mean, way back, I was born in 1982 which this year would make me 31 years old come November. <clears throat> I have memories from my childhood that are so f fractured and somehow uh, distorted and combined with, I would imagine, I, I, I guess they're dreams that I've had. I have no idea. Because a lot of times I can't tell the difference between dreams and dreams that I've had and real memories that I've had of the past and of the current time period. It's totally screwed and I can't do anything about it outside of you know oh I'm sorry mm. so but anyway oh okay I'm gonna stop this short because we're getting ready to hit 15 minutes it's actually probably just already hit 15 minutes but um on my Facebook page and I think I put it on my YouTube um, page 
but there was a uh, um, a segment on uh, 60 Minutes, which was about mental illness and the justice system and the jail system, and it was about how there's there's really no place for people with mental illness to go outside of jails and how terrible that is and that's what's led to all these ridiculous um, I know no one likes to talk about it but the shootings shooting rampages that have gone on within the past couple years um, I think it really brings light to it uh, there's a professor that speaks during the segment I mean just look up 60 minutes and 60 minutes is a YouTube page so uh, go there they have a segment this is about mental illness it was very recently published so it should be on their main page it's like 15 minutes long and totally worth your time if if you want to talk about these sort of instances I mean it's just a little bit longer from what I've been rambling on about so if you've been listening to this you can at least have enough time to listen to what's actually been going on in in the real world and actually get <clears throat> probably more information and I'm not that don't take my half snort whatever as being a joke I mean that's just what happens um cause like I said we see things, we act things, react to things differently. So, please, don't take us for being crazy, insane, psycho, whatever other derogatory term you could label us with. If you've been watching my channel, at least if you've still been watching my channel even though with this most recent uh, very long break I implore you please check out this video or this segment on 60 minutes and it's very informative so Thanks to everybody who watched my videos. And um, this will be it for me tonight. And I'll record something again. I'm not going to give it a date because I'm not someone who really sticks to dates. The fact that I stuck to all those previous dates was quite impressive. But I'm not going to limit. I'm not going to um, uh, give myself such deadlines because that makes me really stressed out and it's just, it's, it's not good for my health. Let's just say that. So anyway, um, the record just said 90 minutes, so I'm assuming it's probably about 20 minutes. So I apologize, but please view that segment 60 minutes. And if you have any comments you want to add, please add them to the, the end of this video uh, down there. And I'll hopefully see you guys soon. Take it easy. I sign off.